Okay, so imagine a car, the engine, the radiator, the brakes, each piece playing a specific role, one relying on the other, with one goal, to drive from A to B. As important as the engine is, what is a car without gas? What use is the gas if we don't have brakes? What use would any of this be if there was no steering wheel? You see my point? They're all important. We can't value one more than the other. While the ball brothers out shoot threes, way out. Who are the ones getting the steals, blocks, and bang out? The ones that lead to the hey, oh. band of brothers. For lack of a better term, we'll call them the others. I think they're overlooked. They fill up the stat books with rebounds and assists. Things that often miss. Discipline and obedience. And some might say that. They're the key ingredient. And some might say, you know, this team can be beaten. And while that may be true, she you know Hills is undefeated. And the bigs are always eating. And they keep the steady diet. First, second, thirds, and fourths. And the numbers feel quiet. And it's not just a team. Open invitation to the block party. To the team, at least defensively. He jumps from the ground and does it straight up and down. As for as many people that attack him, he doesn't pick up fouls and that leads to rebound. A swing and a miss, a rebound, a pass, a layup, a swish. Let's slow it down a bit. I just need to get a little practice. For the young players, what you want to do is take what you can away from what I'm getting ready to show you because I know that it can help, especially for the bigs watching. Now the block shots look good, but fundamentally, you need to understand that you are allowed to jump straight up and down. When you start jumping forward and swinging at the ball, you're more likely to get called for fouls. Something that I think that Anyeka is really good at. And low key, he can shoot a little bit. If you watch the full games, you'll see that he doesn't hesitate to shoot these free throw line jumpers when he's open. As for the rebounding, offensively and defensively, that's what Elijah and Anyeka do. It's what gives Chino Hills more offensive possessions than the other team. Everybody asks, how can I get more rebounds? And while there are things that can help you like boxing out, rebounding is about wanting the ball more than the others. Just go get the ball. Stop overthinking it and just go get the ball. Definitely one thing that helps Elijah though is he's strong, like really strong. He doesn't get moved like smaller players do, and he's very aggressive to go with that strength. And what that leads to is he gets fouled a lot. And for someone who gets hit as much as he does, he keeps his head pretty good. More than I can say that I would. And what's ironic about him keeping his calm is his role kind of reminds me of Draymond. And hear me out, he brings energy. Isn't 6'10", but battles against bigs every game. Rebounds the heck out the ball. Always looking for the open man. Finishes very strong at the basket, and for what it seems like, he's super competitive. I know it's too early to be making that comparison, and normally I don't do that, but I can't help it. Let's take a look at Faquan. He's out there to give energy, pick up full, speed the other team up. The more you speed somebody up, the more mistakes that they make. This is something that not a lot of players want to do, because you get spent. The only way to do this is to be in great shape, and even still, it's tough. And what's even tougher is to knock shots down while doing this. And that's why we see players miss so much as the game progresses, because it's tougher to hit shots when you get tired. We see the Ball brothers shoot a lot of shots, but he's pretty solid from beyond the arc and isn't out there taking bad shots, most importantly. I think what makes these guys stand out more than anything is they put the team before themselves. At least that's what it seems like to me. Most teams that play on a team with other good players that don't get the shots that they want to get, they start rolling their eyes on the court. Believe me, I've seen it when I play and I've seen it when I watch film. But I haven't seen it much with these players. They look at it as an opportunity to eat, and I think that it allows them to win. But for the Hoopers that are still watching, really think about what's going on in this video and understand this. There's an opportunity to get your education paid for by being a selfless role player. Someone who sells out on defense, isn't afraid, disciplined, can finish, a willing passer, can knock down open shots. You don't have to be the best scorer to succeed. And if you master it, maybe you can get paid to play this game. I know plenty of people that do. Besides, it's a lot more fun playing on an unselfish team. 
where everybody is for each other, not against each other. Some of you guys play on teams where your own teammates don't even like each other. They hope something goes wrong just so they can try to take your place. But shout out to the guys at Chino Hills. Keep changing the game, keep shocking the world. You guys got my support. Anyways, I'm done with Chino Hills. Time to move on to my vlog and some NBA breakdowns. And just in case you haven't noticed, I've been posting more than I ever have before. It's because the likes and subscriptions keep me going. So make sure to click the thumbs up. And when you get tired of visiting us, join us. Subscribe to the In The Lab YouTube.